lasagna is meant to be a labor of love. And I guess mine's made with tough love. Let's make some fucking lasagna. Starting with two pounds of mostly defrosted ground beef. Brown your meat up aggressively. You want this to be brown, not gray, fully brown. We are going to add some of our frozen chopped onions. We chopped these the other day, probably about a cup. That looks good and you can throw them in frozen. It's fine. And I got this little guy, he's a garlic grinder, but I don't wanna use fresh garlic because I don't feel like it. His name's Gracula. See, we're gonna use garlic. A metric ton or two. It's a lot of meat. You can add whatever seasoning you like. I'm using Cesaro Total Season Complete because I'm also going to use in my ricotta and I want everything to have a very similar vibe. Into a giant bowl, two giant tubs of ricotta and some Cesaro Season Complete. And we are going to add a metric ton of garlic. Two metric tons. Sprinkle cheese. Fresh Parmesan would be better, but this is all I have. That'll do. Three eggs. Stir your cheese mixture around. Make sure the egg is fully incorporated. This needs black pepper, fresh cracked. Looks good. Now I must shred some cheese, all of it, as much as possible. My husband and I had a little late night snippy snack of pizza, pizza nachos, if you must know, and that has rendered our cheese supply a little low. I was supposed to have two full blocks of mozzarella. It's fine, it's not that big of a deal. It's gonna be okay. Don't blame me, I needed a late night snack. And I was supposed to make this a week ago. I've been having a hard time, okay? Shred up as much mozzarella as you see fit. I am doing it freshly grated because it melts better. Perhaps too much cheese. We are almost to the point where we can drain this. Drain this however you see fit. I'm gonna use a paper towel. It is now time to add your pasta sauce. Flip your jar upside down, spank it, open it, pour it in. Don't forget to rinse out the excess and dump it back in. I like my lasagna to be meat forward, so we're gonna stick with two jars of sauce to two pounds of meat. Stir this around, let everything come together and get to know each other. You can cook this for a while, it's fine. I'm gonna let mine simmer for like 30 minutes. But by the time my sauce is done, it's going to be time for me to go pick up the kids from school. So come back for part two, where I put the lasagna together and give it a taste. 